Hi guys, another episode in my friends and family gold or garbage. If you watched the previous episodes, you'll know that this iPod was in one of the boxes. It's got no connecting leads or anything, so I've no idea whether it works. So I've been to Poundland today and picked up a couple of leads. That one's sync and charge cable for iPhone, iPod and iTouch. So we'll try that in a minute. And while I was at it, I picked up this one as well, which is just a charger lead, but that should work for the iPod and various other um, USB ports. It's got the micro and the mini, I think you call them. So I'll keep that one as well. I'll plug that in to see what happens. Well, that's promising. That says it's charging. So we'll leave it for a while and then see if there's anything stored in the memory. I've left it on charge for about eight hours now and it's not taking charge. The display comes up but it doesn't go onto the menu and after taking it off charge within a few minutes or even seconds the display completely died so it looks like the battery is faulty I've now got a decision to make do I want to spend money to get a new battery for it which is about seven pounds on eBay or do I just accept its junk I've actually taken it apart so I can check what sort of battery it has I'll put a link in my video description to the video that I looked at on how to take it apart but I can see which battery it is it's the model 616 so I know how to take it out and I know which one it is and as I say it's about seven pounds so do I want one or do I just accept it's junk I may even ask the original owner if they want me to try and repair it or whether they just want me to accept that it's junk because they've given it to me they didn't want it anyway but I guess if there's a chance of it working again they may want it back so I will check but that's as far as I'm going to go in this video